Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Hoob with Hoob's Garage. Finally getting ready to finish up the square body project we've been working on. We uh, got the truck all masked up here. That's what we just finished up tonight. And we're going to be spraying some paint tomorrow. So let's recap. If you haven't been following along, you can see just exactly how we got here. Okay, I'll do uh, one last walk around here before we paint it. Yeah, we're not going to paint the bumpers in this episode. Like I've said in other ones, they're coming off. He doesn't like them. He's going to get regular bumpers put back on. The guy that owns it, Jamie, he's a friend of the channel. Got it all sanded down here. Put a lot of work into these bed rails. I had a ton of just random screw holes from over the years where people had different various toolboxes and everything mounted there now we're not going to be painting the bed he's going to do a uh, spray in bed liner so we don't have to worry about that so really looking forward to tomorrow it's actually pretty late at night so we just got done masking it up we're going to paint it tomorrow. Okay, I'm getting ready to mix up some paint here. We got this high tech. I'm going to try that. It was the cheapest stuff we could find. Jamie's over there tack ragging the uh, truck right now. He likes to hide off camera. Get this a little bit of paint mixed up. Probably not going to be able to film a lot of the painting. I'll try. I don't really want my phone sitting that close to all the overspray. I'll put it up on a tripod, back away from it a little bit. Stir this up good, and I'll put the reducer in. Mix this down one to one. Got to thin it down so we can spray it because this paint right here, it's all thick and nasty. We like our women thick and nasty, but not our car paint. So. Got the big bucket because pouring out of a gallon is a pain in the ass. And where it's one to one, we just go ahead and mix on up to the Next mark there. Where are we at? Got that mixed up. We'll be good to go here in a second. I'll get some in the gun here. We got our base coat on and we couldn't really record it because the phone shut off and we didn't know it but it went on pretty good pretty happy with it we're gonna let this dry off and get the gun clean and we're gonna move on to spraying some clear 
Got the tailgate and everything over here. I don't know how well it shows up in camera. We'll definitely have it outside for a reveal at the end of the video. Well, we're going to get some clear mixed up and get back at it here. First coat of clear done. We didn't get any runs, which makes us happy. Still looks a little blotchy in places. I'm hoping it clears up. Well, I mean, it will with the next coat going on. It definitely doesn't look bad for the very first coat. The tailgate come out amazing. It's looking real good. Cow came out pretty good. So we're going to throw on our uh, second coat of clear here and see what happens. We're going to get it out in the daylight tomorrow, but here's a quick view of it. Didn't record a lot of the clear coat because I was just too worried about getting it right, less about the video. So. See, we got some pretty good reflection there. See everything in the garage down through there? It's definitely not perfect. It ain't a show truck, but it's pretty good for two idiots that didn't even know what they was doing. Cars going down the road there. See, that was that noise. We'll uh, definitely get this thing out tomorrow, or maybe the next day in the daylight. Let y'all check. Oh, shit, I hit the camera. Here it is the next day out in the sunlight. Some of the body work's not all that great, but the paint came out pretty good. I really wouldn't mind wet sanding and buffing it, but Jamie, the guy that owns his truck, he's just tickled to death with it the way it is. So as long as he's happy, that's what's important because it's his truck. So got some pretty good reflection there. It is a little orange peely. Like I said, I really wouldn't mind giving it a quick wet sand and buffing it out. But like I said, it's Jamie's truck and he's just he's tick he's happy. He's just ecstatic over it. That's just really all he was looking for. So that, that's all that matters. So now all we got to do is get the trim and everything put back on. Well, I'm out here a few days later trying to figure out how some of this trim and stuff goes back on. Didn't really pay attention when I took it off. So I got that grill back on, which was a complete pain in the ass, and I'm pretty sure it don't even fit right. 
But whatever, I put it back on exactly the way it came off. Now I think I'll get some of this uh, wheel trim put on in the uh, parking lights there. I'm gonna get this fender trim mounted up here. trim put on now we'll get the mirrors hung up on there well I believe that's a wrap on the uh, Chevrolet square body facelift project we had going on that was a fun little project. Had several little pain in the ass things along the way, but hey, that's when you do everything, I reckon. It's got the trim mounted back up up there. I noticed on the other side, his piece of trim was broke. I don't know if he knew that or not. I'll show you all here. Final walk around here. Definitely better than it was with all that old clear coat peeling off of it everywhere. Here's that broken piece of trim I was talking about. He must have not known that was like that or something. I'm sure he can snatch up a couple new ones. Now, like I said, in the future, we may wet sand and buff this. I'm not gonna make any promises. If we do, I'll definitely make a video about it. But I really appreciate you tagging along for this adventure. If this was the first video you've seen, I made a uh, Silverado or Square Body uh, facelift playlist, something like that. Go back and click that. That way you can catch all the videos. But hey, I really appreciate you watching. And this is Hoob with Hoob's Garage. Be sure to catch you all in the next one. We'll see you all.